The following video might not be suitable for everyone. Viewer's discretion is advised. Hey, my you, you know where I watch. Alright viewers and subscribers, my name is Dancer Skiller. I'm there again once more. Big up and respect to each and every one. I have some information to give to you, my viewers and subscribers. Alright? Alright, so first things first. I got information that a taxi operator had been shot and killed along Cumberland Boulevard in Portmore, St. Catherine, Jamaica on the 13th of April year 2022. See, so according to information that I got, it is said that uh, the taxi operator or the taxi man was uh, at a taxi stand along the roadway when men on a motorcycle came up and opened fire. See, it is said that the taxi operator had been hit and the attackers escaped viewers and subscribers. So I said, I didn't get uh, a whole lot of information about the whole situation. However, it is said that the police are doing their investigation. And I also saw more than three pieces of videos circulating on social media that shows some things that happened after the taxi operator had been shot. See? So, for you to get a better understanding about this whole situation, I'm going to present to you one of those pieces of videos that I saw on social media. And by presenting this piece of video to you, I hope that you will get a better understanding about the whole situation. However, I want you to please bear in mind that in the video, you can hear at least one person yelling and shouting. Some persons might call the yelling and shouting, screaming viewers and subscribers because the person was a somewhat emotionally hurt. Yeah, the video also shows a certain amount of persons at the scene of where the incident happened, viewers and subscribers, and that includes the police within the country of Jamaica, all right? So before I present the video to you, this is a warning that some of the scenes in this video might not be suitable for everyone. Viewer discretion is advised. Here's the video. Take a look. Listen, observe. You can also tell them what they think. Observe. I know. The kids still not be the same. I'm not going to lose a loved ones. I tell you, I'm not going to so the bike the park, which part of the way you it? Run out. 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 Run let me tell you. Mm. All right, my people. Um, anyways, I'm going to move on to another topic. I hope that the things that I told you was informative. All right? All right, so I got information that uh, a man who is suspected of uh, shooting 10 people on a subway train in Brooklyn, United States of America, on Tuesday, the 12th of April, year 2022, called in a tip two crime stoppers and led to his own arrest you see me i said yeah according to information that i got it is said that uh, the suspect goes by the name of frank james and it is said that he's in his 60s and it is said that he was arrested without uh, an incident you see me i said so it is said that uh, <coughs> patrol officers Picked him up somewhere within Manhattan, United States of America. It is said that James called in the tip and told authorities, our law enforcers within the United States of America, that he was at a McDonald's that is located somewhere within Manhattan, United States of America. And it is said that he also essentially told police he saw his face on the television and knew he was wanted. 
There's also a video circulating on social media that shows when James was being put or placed in a police service vehicle by the police. You see? And I'm going to present that video to you so that you can have a better understanding about the whole situation, viewers and subscribers. Now, please bear in mind that uh, some of the scenes in this video might not be suitable for everyone. Viewer discretion is advised. Here's the video. Take a look, listen, observe. You can also tell me what you think. Observe. In that, see? Yep. Yeah, so he had been taken into police custody or arrested by the police in the United States of America on the 13th of April, the year 2022, viewers and subscribers, just to make it very clear, all right? Yeah, so I hope that uh, the information that I gave you is informative, and I'm going to move on to another topic. So I got information that a 29-year-old man from within the parish that is known as Westmoreland, that's within the country of Jamaica, who had been accused of sexually assaulting his five-year-old sister and his two-year-old niece, had been taken into police custody. Now, the mother of one of those children did somewhat uh, talk about the situation in a video and your subscribers, you me? and you know, the female said some things in the video that gave me the understanding that she said that uh, the accused had been held by his brother or captured by his brother but somehow he may escape but the way how she said may escape me think about it and me wonder how that happened but anyways so according to more than one news articles that i read and according to information that i got i got the understanding that somehow the man had been held on the 13th of April year 2022 and brought into police custody. Now, how the man had been held, viewers and subscribers, I don't have any confirmed information about uh, that. You see what I say? But I got information that the man is in police custody and he had been held and taken into police custody on the 13th of April year 2022. You see? Now, there's also a video circulating on social media that shows a female explaining certain things about the whole situation of viewers and subscribers. You understand me? See, and you know what? For you to get a better understanding about the whole of this, you know, I'm going to leave a link at the end of this video. If you click that link, that link will take you to a previous video that I did about this whole situation during subscribers. So, may I say? Yeah, but it really sad for you to say, is a, you know, may I tell you, yo, people, I don't even know how to say it certain ways. You see me? Anyways, may I move on to another topic? Now, viewers and subscribers, there's a video circulating on social media that shows a person in a compromising position with a female of your subscribers now it is said that the person who you can see in the video in a compromising position with the female is said to be a musician who goes by the name of casino now, my uncle got a compromising position of your subscribers I go really and truly give certain details but one thing for sure the video is circulating certain places on social media. You see me? Because the type of video I talk about can't really post any anywhere if you're in subscribers. You see me? And the way how I see the person in the video go on, I tell you the truth, it looks like the person somewhat agree with the video being made. Yeah, I saw me see it. You see me? I say, yeah, man. So the video circulating on social media. I see quite a number of comments on social media about the video, even though the video is not the type of video that I can post any and anywhere on social media. So I say, and my, I also wondered if I have seen that video before. So I, yeah, I wonder how, when that video they make because you know, I don't want to jump to no conclusion, I don't want to give no wrong information, but I am not so sure that this video is exactly something. I don't, I don't know. I just a wonder. You see me? I wonder if I see a video like that before or something. I don't know. You see me? I say. Yeah, about casino, of course. You see me? I say, my people. But, anyways, 
So I'm just make you know about uh, certain things, various subscribers. You know that video, you know, is being talked about on social media. It get a buzz. You can let me know what you think about all the information that I gave to you in this video. And um, I yes, I'm gonna leave it. So big up and respect to each and everyone. Until next time, my name is Dancer Skiller. Big up to all of my dancers and Danets. Big up.